vlog. Um, today we are at work. We're doing a 24 hour shift and I feel awful. <laughs> um, I have hay fever yet again. If you guys can't tell, I feel like my eyes are super puffy and droopy. So I spent all day yesterday in urgent care and got um, a dexamethasone shot. I still can't hear out of this ear. Very freaking frustrating. Um, but today we're at work. Um, I just have some chamomile tea. Um, and then I am eating boiled eggs and cantaloupe for breakfast as well as this kind protein bar, which I really shouldn't be eating, but I don't care. I need to pick me up because I'm freaking tired and I can't hear nor breathe and I have a headache. So um, I tested negative for COVID. Um, this is like classic allergies. So I'm not sick. Um, but yeah, I don't really feel like being here. So anyways, I'm about to head to Safety Huddle where we kind of like go over the patients on the board um, and just ensure that their risk factors um, or I guess assessing their risk factors for maternal mortality. So I'm about to go do that. Okay, y'all, to make matters even worse, they ain't even got hot sauce for my eggs this morning. Like, all I have is this salsa, but I need hot sauce. I need hot sauce. How are you supposed to eat this without seasoning? I mean, I am at, you know, a hospital that's um, today. So maybe that's why, but like, I really need some hot sauce. I'm so sad. <laughs> I last saw you guys and that's because I worked a Q2 this week um, which if you guys don't know what that is but that's basically like a 24-hour shift it's more than 24 hours and then you have less than 24 hours off well really 24 hours off but it, it'd be less than 24 hours um, and then you work another 24 hours and I was just up all week and I was editing last week's vlog after I got off work so I was just really tired and I just needed some rest but <clears throat> it's Saturday now so this is more so gonna be like a weekend vlog but I'm headed to my mom's house now because y'all my baby is he's suffering fully I don't know if you guys noticed in the last vlog but he was wearing like a collar and that's because he has really bad allergies and he ended up like chewing up his foot because his foot his entire front right paw has like this allergic reaction and he'll like chew it as a form of itching so I took him to the vet they put him on this antibiotic called Simply Ceph which of course is a cephalosporin and I don't know if Bully has like a penicillin allergy and it carried over into a cephalosporin allergy or what, but his allergies got so worse on that antibiotic, I had to stop it. Um, and then I've tried Benadryl, I've tried Allegra, I've tried Zizol, I've tried Zyrtec, and none of these are helping his allergies. So I am going to my mom's house now because she has my first dog, Watson. Um, from college she stole him she didn't even want me to have that dog and as soon as I got him she like stole him from me like stole him like would not get, give him back so we're gonna 
go over to her house now because Watson has bad allergies and her vet prescribed her Apoquil and I don't know if y'all know about Apoquil but that shit is expensive. I was like, oh no, I ain't paying $90 for no damn 30 tablets. So, um, and even with like this coupon that I have from Petco, it would still be like $85 or something like that. So that's really expensive. So let me adjust y'all. Um, so we are headed to her house now to pick up them daggone pills. And I'm gonna see if it helps him. Cause y'all, he looks so miserable right now. I wish y'all could see him, but I don't wanna show him cause his eyes are all puffy and red and crusty and he's got like this allergic reaction all underneath his front right paw and in his armpit and it just looks so awful like my baby my baby and I've already taken him to the vet but chill. I just feel like veterinary care they be trying to like slap things on you and I'm sure some people feel this way about the medical community and I'm sure some healthcare providers do it but I don't I'm not gonna prescribe you anything that you don't need <laughs> who's doing all that extra work not me said the duck but anyways uh, he just looks so miserable like I would hate to see myself with children because the way I care about these dogs, like, baby, you can have anything you want. You can have it. A thousand dollars, here. Except for these Apple tablets, I can avoid that. But if, if I can get it for cheaper, I'll get it for cheap. But if not, anything you need, because these are my babies. These are my babies. Ah. So, that's what we're gonna go do right now. Where are the goods? Huh? Where are the goods? I don't see them. What? I mean, you don't see the pills? Nah. I told you look up in the cabinet. Right oh. Jennifer. I My. told you look up there. I'm in the little brown thing with a label on it. You know what I told you. Look. I told you. Oh, here it is. It's This is in an orange container. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more. You hold it out. You say you're gonna do what now? I'm gonna take some Benadryl though. Oh, you can take all of that. I don't even use it, honey. Really? No, that's why I stopped giving it to Watson. That's why I got the medication from the vet. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take all of this. I'm gonna take all of this. She thinks she funny. I'm taking more. Operation Apoquel heist in full effect. That bully's like twice Watson's size, so yeah, I'm gonna take all of this. I'm taking all of this. Y'all ever come to your mom's house and steal stuff? Cause I do. Don't let the NZ fool you, baby. We steal things around here. Operation Apoquel Heist complete. I feel like I'm in a trap house right now, crushing pills. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait for my ma to get here because I haven't seen her in like a week, so. Bye. <laughs> I don't think he can with his collar on. I think you got to take the collar off. My baby. Hey, you want some water. Really, you want some water. My baby. Come you going to sit me? with Cece, huh? Huh? What are you doing, baby? I'm recording. Oh, whatever. Just don't record me, please. No, I won't. You're not in it. Your feet are in it, but that's it. No. Now go pee pee. Now go pee pee. 
Go pee pee. Go in the pee pee. Go pee pee. No. <laughs> You're gonna jump up up in the chair. Taking all my motherfucking money, and I don't like that shit. Is this person aware that like you don't have to do that? Like stack your registration with me. All right, so I'm about to go and pick up some cupcakes for this party tonight. For I guess my future. Stepfather-in-law, child, Mark's stepfather. <laughs> um, it's his 70, 70th birthday party tonight, so I'm gonna go pick up some cupcakes, and then I'm about to head home because I'm motherfucking tired. Y'all, why did they only put like two sprinkles on each cupcake? <sighs> like, what is this? Nobody's gonna even taste the sprinkles. I'm like, look at this one. I'm like, y'all cannot cook. And I know that lady was tired, but now I'm ready to go. Anyway. It actually doesn't look bad on camera, but I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. And I know how to season food. And I consider sprinkles seasoning. They're a different shape, but I'm sorry, this is just not enough sprinkles. Now these are birthday cupcakes, baby. Boom, yummy. Cause I'm sorry, but if I'm gonna cheat, then it needs to be good, right? Don't be having me out here eating no dry ass unsprinkled ass made without love ass cupcake no crisis averted thanks to me mm -hmm. i saved the day once again give me a daggone cape because i'm a superhero b Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing and slow down Baby We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town Baby Where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you're not. Are you talking about the floor? Yeah. 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 Yeah
street, now we on your block And it's like a ghost town Babe Where did these niggas be at When they said they doing all this and all that I'm in the trenches, relax Can you not play that little boy in the club Cause we do not listen to rap Me and Atlanta, I buy her weed She telling me Tay is the best Point at that nigga who act like a killer But you only one from the net I'm like the baby, I'm not just a rapper You feel me, you won't get stretched It's hard to make, so I bet they on their face right now. I know that they at the crib going crazy down bad. What they had didn't last, damn baby. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town Baby Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? When he tell the story, that's not how I went Know they be lying a hundred percent Put out the wrist and forgot by the bed Now they just call me to tell me, come get it Got that boy off and I don't want no credit If it was me, they wouldn't regret it Let me be dead and now they won't get it Hey y'all, so it is the next day. As you guys can see, I worked a 24 hour shift yesterday. I did not get to do what I was supposed to do on Saturday, which was show you guys my outfit before the party. Um, but I am planning on shooting it soon and uploading it to Instagram so everything will be tagged there. Um, I was also just running late and so I didn't have time to stop in vlog unfortunately because i had to be there early to set up and i was already running like cpt time late um and of course it was a, it was a surprise party so i had to get there on time um but i wanted to do what i'm about to do on sunday but i didn't get a chance to because y'all when we got home from the party bullethead was like sick okay he was like laying in urine in the cage and I mean I don't think I've ever like shown you guys bullet head on the vlog yet but I'm sure you guys have seen him you know just randomly walking around and he's a thick dog like I call him my little Idris Elba um, you know cuz he's like super chocolate and and thick and muscular like my baby likes to eat okay and when we got home on Saturday he was not eating or drinking and I took him outside. He wasn't peeing or pooping. And so I had to take him to the vet. I was there until 4.30 in the morning. Y'all, I was like crying. I was such a mess. Because I don't know if you guys have dogs. But like, those are my babies. Like, y'all just don't understand. Like, those are my babies. This is my baby. Romeo's right here. Um, but anyway, so I took him to the vet. I was there until 4.30 in the morning. Um, and he wasn't even done at that point. Um, I had to like go back and pick him up. But basically they did a lot of blood work and x-rays on him. Um, just to see if he had like some sort of infection um, that was spreading throughout his body or sepsis. Because he had a fever to like 105, which is one degree off from multi-organ failure in a dog. Um, so he stayed there, they worked him up, everything came out negative, thank the Lord. And he was able to go home on oral antibiotics. So on Sunday, not only was I sleep deprived, but I was up all day giving him around the clock care. Like, baby, can't nobody tell me nothing. I know I'm gonna be a good mother because the way I be taking care of these dogs when they're sick, oh, you can't touch me. Like, I'm definitely gonna be a bomb mom. So um, I had to like clean his face every couple of hours. Um, of course he was itching. So I was giving him all his meds. He was on seven pills at a time. Right, and then at night he was on like another seven pills. So it wasn't even just like seven pills all day. It was like seven pills at a time. Um, and so I was like delivering around the clock care for him. 
and like that night he was obviously knocked out he's been through a lot he's been itching all day and night all week um oh i don't even know if i told you guys what happened but basically um you guys saw earlier in the vlog when i took him to my mom's house he had bad allergies he was chewing through his foot he has an infection and so on saturday we were scared that the infection had spread to his bone or that it had spread to his bloodstream which is sepsis and so that's what we we're working up him up for but basically his infection is still soft tissue so it's still in like the tissues the fat the muscle um, the foot pad covering the foot so it hadn't spread to the bone or the blood so when he was sleeping on sunday i was like i'm, I'm gonna let him sleep because i know he's tired i had given him all of his medications as scheduled so i was like i'm not gonna like stress at this point i'm gonna let him sleep so i woke him up about two hours later because it was time for me to pat down his areas like um his areas his um what would i call them his like his rash um like i told you he chewed through his foot so i have to keep that part dry everything had spread up through his arm into his armpit so i have to keep this part dry um, of course his entire face was like red puffy swollen scratched up so i had to keep all of this dry he like has um, periauricular dryness and chafing and just a whole bunch of basically an allergic reaction on the ears so of course that was like getting pussy um, or purulent and so I had to keep everything dry I had to keep patting him down every couple of hours and so when he woke up from his nap I was like hey let me pat you down and I actually did that right before I wanted to film for you guys and when i woke him up y'all like he had greenish discharge all underneath his arms and he was just like he was like kind of lethargic but then i started crying because i'm a virgo and i'm very much so in tune with my emotions like we're not like emotional creatures but you know when we feel it we feel it and so I was like crying and then when he saw me crying he started like climbing on me um and so I was like oh okay well are you okay because like you got green discharge everywhere and um he had like a fluctuant mass forming so I was like oh no are you getting an abscess all up your arm now because this wasn't here yesterday and I had just been like a good chunk of change at this veterinary ER the night before so um, I texted a friend who, a friend of a friend who is a vet and of course, I mean, she's a vet. She's probably asleep at this point. Like her schedule is, um, is this, was that blocking it the whole time? Sorry. Um, I dropped my camera y'all. So like the lens don't close all the way. I know. Anyway. So anyway, the vet that I texted was already asleep. So I had to figure out what to do. I was like, was I going to take him back to this ER, which I called them and they were full anyway. They're like, well, we're full, so we're not taking on um, any patients, which I mean, I get that they're dogs, but it's like I spent like a good chunk of change to bring my dog to y'all. Like I can't even speak to the doctor or, you know, I was just like, I mean, it was just like they shrugged their shoulders and were like, well, there's we we aren't taking any new patients so but it's like trust me i'm an ob -gen. can nobody tell me what busy is baby ob -gen is busy okay i be doing eight things at once i can't even remember if i did something that i just did because i'm on to something else like that's how quickly i have to move an ob -gen. you cannot tell me what busy is an ob -gen. i know what busy is okay um what was i talking about <laughs> got a little beside myself i'm like angry like see my baby y'all need to see my baby anyway um so yeah like i get busy all the time and yeah it can put a like a hump in your schedule if 
like a patient or a family member needs to talk to you but you have to do it like you know what i mean like you can't just shrug your shoulders and be like oh well no i'm busy like what like okay well i'm in the er i'm in the or i tell her i'm you know occupied at the moment but i'll get up there as soon as i can or i'll talk to her in the morning i always follow up so you know the fact that they didn't follow up with me i felt some type of way i was like yeah this ain't the same this ain't cool so but anyways so i called my mom and y'all my mom is like an angel my mom is an angel so i took him to her house at 11 o'clock at night because the next day i worked a 24-hour shift so i wasn't going to be able to give him around the clock care mark worked the next day next day so he couldn't take care of him and he and romeo have to be separated anyway because romeo keeps licking his foot so i took him to my mom's house at 11 o'clock at night and my mom lives really far from me like she stays over where i grew up so it took a, a while to get there um so yeah i dropped him off taught her you know everything she needed to know about his medication administration and how to like you know wipe him down and my mom is like she's like a, an excellent caretaker so i knew he would be in good hands but obviously that's my baby so i'm worried about him um so anyway i worked a 12 hour or 24 hour shift and now i'm off i just filmed an instagram video um by the time you guys see this video it will be up on my ig but me and a co-worker were talking recently and we were just like why do certain people use the term baby daddy and you know why are we only using that with certain patients because you notice that that term is only being extended to or used with certain groups of people and so i just think that that's something that needs to stop in professional conversations sign out or even you know just in side conversations because i feel like no, why are you why are we using this term like what this should not be like we can say husband partner fob there's which means father of the baby um there's so many different terms that we can use besides baby daddy because i don't i just i don't like that term so i feel like it needs to stop <laughs> it's introducing racism and bias into patient care and it just it just needs to stop um so yeah you're gonna see that video um but anyway so i wanted to film a haul of all of the shopping that i did over the holidays and into the new year whenever i took advantage of the sales because i mean that's like what i love doing most so um that's what i was supposed to do sunday and i didn't get a chance to do it so this vlog is going to kind of extend into the new week so because i felt like i was cheating y'all since i hadn't been here um and then the next vlog afterwards will just be wednesday through the weekend um so anyways we're gonna get started i'm gonna save the black owned businesses for last yeah okay so first up is sex fifth avenue this bag is so beat up now <laughs> because it's been in a corner of my room for like a month now um so anyway sax has amazing sales i love shopping at sax um whoa so i picked up a pair of alexander mcqueen shoes Woo! and um one of the great things about sax is well, I'm in Houston, so obviously there's a sack here. Um, I realize they're not everywhere. Um, but, you know, my credit card company, they will, they give you points. And so I always order sack gift cards <laughs> instead of paying off my bill. I know. I'm like, let's just be irresponsible and get sacks and get, like, gifts for ourselves. Because that's a part of self-care is treating yourself. Like my mama said, you can't take it with you. So we going shopping. We going to sacks. 
So anyways, I got these pair of Alexander McQueen shoes. And when I show you these shoes, you guys are going to be like, why did you buy those? But I wanted something that would kind of prepare me for the springtime. Because um, anytime something springy is on sale, or I guess anytime something off season is on sale, I take advantage of the sale. Because um, these were at a great price. So when you open it, it comes with a duster bag. Looks like this. And then when you open them, ah! I just love looking at them. It is this yellow platform shoe. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now, I'm a person, I like to be different. Um, I notice a lot of people are buying like the Valentino platform shoes and the Versace platform shoes. And I just wanted something different. Um, I don't really like getting the same thing that everybody else has if I can help it if I'm not like super in love with it but yes yeah, so it is a yellow platform shoe um, I really wish that the hardware was gold but it's silver but that's fine um, I can find some silver jewelry to wear because I really hate mixing silver and gold jewelry um, and then they are open toe they have a thick strap across the front it's very sturdy these are super comfortable um, I walk in heels all the time so if a pair of heels is uncomfortable to me baby that means they are uncomfortable they are poorly made and do not buy them because I got some strong feet for walking in heels because I'm only 5'1 so I've been wearing heels my entire life um, so yes these are the shoe I'm very excited these are going to be perfect for spring. Um, I'm going to pair these with maybe like some boyfriend jeans and maybe like an oversized shirt. I love oversized shirt dresses, so I'll probably wear this with an oversized shirt dress. Uh, maybe even like a wrap dress, maybe like some sexy print leggings and like a crop top whenever I'm out with my man. So yeah, you can do a lot with these. These are it. <laughs> okay, so moving on. I'm a Virgo, so I have to package these nicely before I move on. So just bear with me while I package them back up. Oh, y'all, I want to talk to y'all about something while I'm getting the next thing ready. Are we really having this conversation if colorism is real or not? Like what? Why are we having this conversation? I'm sure by the time this video is up, the conversation will be over, which it needs to be because I don't understand why this is confusing for people. Colorism is real. Like, why is this confusing for you? Like, how can racism be real and texturism be real? Texturism in terms of hair. And how can classism be real? Not just in America, but all over the globe and colorism not be real. Colorism is real. I mean, and that's period after that. Like, why are we having this conversation? This is such a ridiculous conversation that I'm seeing. And people are like really trying to allege that colorism is not real. And I'm like, no, boo-boo, it's real. It's just that there's a difference between being bullied and you not having access to certain opportunities because you don't fit the mold of what America has deemed to be beautiful, which is of a lighter skin tone if you are a black individual like let's not let's not go there and that's not saying that i saw a lot of people saying that um colorism isn't real because white people see us all the same yes they see us as black people but that doesn't mean that they don't have certain ideals that are embedded in their mind or subconsciously embedded in their mind because of everything that the media has fed them like colorism is real like haven't y'all noticed that all the people who first attended college were all lighter individuals that's because those were the slave master's children like why come on now come on now y'all let's not be slow here colorism is real that doesn't mean that if you are lighter you did not um, encounter bullying i got bullied all the time please whatever it's something that everybody goes through but you know and it's okay to say that you've benefited from something and 
still advocate for your brother or your sister. It's totally acceptable to do that. I have benefited from colorism. That doesn't mean that I think that it's right. That doesn't mean that I like it. That doesn't mean that I want it to continue. It means that I recognize that it's a real problem and in the process I need to lift up my other brothers and sisters who are more richly or deeply melanated than myself so that we can advocate the abolishment of the problem. Ignoring it doesn't get us anywhere. It's like this is the same racism conversation that we're having amongst black people. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Stop it. Colorism is real. And if you're lighter, your chances are you're benefiting from it. That doesn't mean that you don't work hard. It just means you benefit. You are benefiting from it. So, and it's okay to benefit from it as long as you are making sure that you're helping other black people along the way. Like seriously, guys. Let's let's not have this conversation. <laughs> anymore like come on okay so we're gonna move on to the next thing i have to change my battery and then i will see you guys in a second here y'all for some reason all four of my batteries are tripping and i charged all of them so i'm a little confused as to why it's doing that so um anyways oh my god this one's about to die oh lord bye y'all <laughs> All right, y'all. Hi again. <laughs> um, so as you can see, it's much later because I had to wait for my camera batteries to charge. Um, so we're going to continue with the haul. I just feel like I need to do quick story time, like five seconds, I swear. Um, I just feel like sometimes, do you guys ever like wonder if God is like trying to like, talk to you or tell you about something and by ignoring it you're ignoring him talking to you or if it's really like this fool down here trying to like distract you anyways so while i was putting my camera batteries on the charger romeo like peed all over the stairs now mind you his brother is not here they've been like this since they were born because they were two out of three in the same litter um so i'm pretty sure he's going through it right now so i didn't punish him but obviously i had to like clean that sh up um but yeah just don't don't get weenie dogs y'all they're very temperamental so anyways i just didn't know i was like dang my camera battery keeps dying and i bought four and i charged all of them and romeo's peeing on the stairs i gotta clean that up like is this the lord telling me don't do youtube or is this like this fool who we don't say his name is that him trying to like distract me anyways we gonna continue but just let me know what you think down below anyways so next i wanted to um show you guys the new waste bag that i got from i think this one was from rebag um, which is a site where you can purchase gently owned or designer and luxury items and so i got this Mew Mew bag that is a waste bag it's so cute oh i just cannot wait to wear this with like an oversized blazer or just across the chest with like a track suit i think this is so cute so it's not that big but honestly i didn't want something that was super huge i just wanted enough for like my phone and maybe like a card holder because i switch purses very often um, purses are kind of like my statement piece um so i'm so happy with this it's so pretty Yay! Can't wait to wear it. Okay. And then. Na, 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 na. So, my next purchase, I actually threw away the box um, because my room was getting crowded and I just couldn't take it. Uh, but my next purchase is this Christian Dior canvas embroidered shoulder shoulder strap bag i think that is so cute it has antique gold hardware um a little carabine here with a key inside to open up the lock um this bag actually did not come with this strap i actually purchased this separately on fashion files so this strap is also used but i just needed like a classic medium-sized bag 
Um, I do not have a small top handle black bag, but I found one and it's a black owned business and I'm super excited to purchase that one next. So hopefully I will be able to show you guys that one soon. But this one is going to be like my medium sized bag, like forever, for whenever I go to the movies and I need to sneak some things inside of the theater. Cause ain't nobody paying $20 for no snacks for one snack at the movies. Um, so yeah, this is the next purchase. Once again, use is the way to go. I love it. It's barely any scratches and you can always look um, and see if something is like scratched. You know what I mean? On the website. So me, I'm pretty much always going to buy used because who is spending like $10,000 on like one bag or two bags? Like not me. So yes. And then I have one more. Once again, I threw away this box and duster bag because I just needed space. Um, but it is this Burberry waist bag. Now, this is oversized. Um, I actually already wore this once to um, a kid's birthday party. And actually, I was in a tracksuit. I had on the leggings that matched this. And this is kind of like over the tracksuit. Um, I probably can't wear it as a waist bag just because it is really big and oversized. But um, I do like wearing it as like a crossbody bag. I think it's super cute, um, very fashion forward, but at the same time, still very chillaxed, you know, very fashion girl. So, and I also like that the typical Burberry pattern wasn't on this bum bag. Now, the newer one is. You can see it's kind of like a monogram print, um, but I did like this stripe detail that they had down the middle. Um, I thought it was different than their typical Burberry pattern that we're used to seeing growing up, so I thought that was really cute. So, yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for the designer bags. So now I'm going to get into, I guess, just some basic things. So I just got a few items off of Skims. I got their new Raw Edge collection um, in three crop tops. So the first one I got in white, and this is actually what I wore on Saturday to the golf party. So this one is in gunmetal. It's kind of like a grayish green. And... I took the tag off this one, but it's like a gray, cool gray, bluish type of tone. And it's super soft and comfy, so I do like these. And then I also got, I haven't even opened these yet, but I got their Soft Lounge collection um, just in the shorts. And this is in the color Army Green. And then I also got the top in the same color from the same collection. So let's see, just like this. Um, in Skims, I'm kind of like a small and extra small. Um, but to be honest, I really probably should be an extra small because you know in Skims, you gotta like size all the way down. Um, or else everything just kind of like pulls and you have like a whole bunch of wrinkles and I don't really like that look. Um, I know some people be like, I don't like wearing skims, but y'all can say what y'all want about Kim K. She did her thing with skims. I'm sorry, I love skims. I understand that it ain't everybody's cup of tea, that's fine. And Emma Greed is the co-owner who is a black woman and I think she does amazing work with the 15% pledge. Um, which is basically an organization that works with companies to help them to pledge 15% of their shelf space to black owned businesses. So don't come for me in the comments. You don't like skins, you don't like skins, baby. If you don't like skins, you don't like skins, it's fine. Um, but I do, I like skins. Anyways, so now we're going to get into the fun part, which is the black owned stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Vault by Sasha because you guys saw in the previous vlog that I was wearing this cardigan, which was the first piece that I picked up. It's super cute, it's great quality. I love the color pattern. 
I love the color blocking. I just think you can wear this with anything. You can wear it with just like any type of monochrome set. White, black, brown, tan, navy, even orange. You can do whatever you want with this. There's so many different options. So I love this piece. And I just thought the back was really cute as well. So you can definitely do a lot with this. Um, I couldn't wear this how I originally wanted to, which was just as a cardigan with like maybe some heels or some shoes. Um, but either way, I still think it's a great piece. And then I also got these joggers. Um, so they are like these, it's like half, I guess, like some sort of poly fabric in the front and then jeans in the back and down the sides. And I just really liked the pattern of these. I thought it was super cute. So I can't wait to wear these. I'm a little scared because now that I'm looking at them, I'm wondering if, the, if this area is going to be too baggy on me. So like the crotch part. Um, I might have to get them tailored. I usually always have to get my clothes tailored because I'm very um, petite, but that's okay. I'm still really happy with this purchase. So I should be styling these soon. Um, and then I got a little waist belt. So it's like a corset belt. Um, and it is in a size small. Oh good, and there's no holes. Just because usually whenever there's holes, I typically have to make my own holes because um, my waist is so small, but <laughs> y'all, the leather set on this is very strong. Ooh, shit. So yeah, I got a belt, so I'll probably wear this with like an oversized white button-down shirt dress. And then y'all know I love, like I said, an oversized button-down shirt dress. Like, baby, if, if your business has got it, you, you might want to let me know. If you have a business and you've got oversized button-down shirt dresses, you might want to let me know because I'm probably going to buy it. Um, but anyways, I got this oversized button-down shirt and it is in a size small. So this is actually oversized. It's huge. But I would probably wear these um, with like a white boot, um, which I will show you in a second, kind of what I was going for. Um, or just like a paint, pain? Or just like a plain skinny strap heel, very minimalistic. Um, or even like a cute sneaker um, with some of the colors hinted in it, like maybe like a white sneaker with some hints of pink and orange, and then maybe like a pop of color for the bag. So can't wait to wear this. So next I got a new pair of Enzo sneakers. Enzo is a black owned shoe company. Um, and baby, I've been wanting these for a long time, but I could not make up my mind if I wanted the shoe with the white part on the back or if I wanted the one with the teal. So I did get the one with the white. Um, in all of the Enzo clears, it comes with like this burnt orange color in the front the white in the middle and then this teal color in the back and you get to choose if you want the back part to be like a burnt orange a white or a teal and so i was struggling for the life of me for months and months and months as to whether i wanted the teal or the white and i just went ahead and went with the white because i felt like it would go with more pieces so i'm super excited about this shoe i think it is super cute i mean look at it and I just love how they have like these details. Like the tongue of this shoe, y'all, fire. This hologram type of tag, very pretty, very pretty. So I'm very excited to wear these. And then it just says, what do you want on the front of both sneakers? So super cute, very excited to wear these. Very appropriate for like a casual day when I want to be dressy. Um, and then the last piece, which I'm probably going to get this in another color as well as the one that I already have. Romeo, come up here. Romeo, what are you doing? Sit down. Um, I got the, 
what are they called? I got the Zoe boots from Hanifa. I was going back and forth once again for months in my mind as to whether I wanted the white or the black. I ended up getting the black because I felt like it could be more versatile. However, y'all, I really want to go back and get the white. So these are the black ones. And I have tried them on. And I think for my size, I've got a pretty decent calf and it fits me now there's a lot of boots I can't zip up because my calves get in the way like I always be like pinching myself y'all know what that feel like hey don't knock over my camera okay but these it fit me okay now I will say I have very narrow feet and these boots are very wide so they're a little wide on my feet but they don't look or they don't make your feet look chunky if that makes sense so I'm very happy with this purchase I have already tried them on I can't wait to pair this with like a blazer dress um, I have this Kurt Lager Kurt Lagerfeld is that his name <sighs> Carl bro Romeo has major gas like he is over here breaking wind like crazy you stink. I feel like missing his brother is messing up his gut because baby, these this gas up in this room. Oh my god. Once again, this is just proof that I love y'all because I I need to move to like save my lungs at this point. Um so anyways, very happy with this boot. I'm probably gonna go back and get them in white. Like y'all, can y'all imagine like a white boot like this? Can y'all imagine these in white? with this shirt cute i'm excited so i'm probably gonna go back and get them in white as well so very happy with these um so that is it that is the end of the haul that is going to be the end of this vlog um so yeah i'm going to clean all this up sometimes i hate being a virgo because i'm like <laughs> Anybody else could probably just leave this here, but I'm just like, I can't leave this here. I cannot leave this mess here. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just, I, I, I got, I, uh, mm, mm, mm. I gotta put it up. 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 And then I'm going to get some Mexican food, baby. We're going to eat Arondas tonight. If y'all haven't heard of Arondas and you're from Houston, what are you doing? Best Mexican food ever. The flautas on point so i'm about to go get my mexican food i'm about to chow down chill with my man and then i will see you guys tomorrow in next week's vlog i love you guys as always see you later bye